So for those of you out there that want Pokemon Sun and Moon news, I might have something for you. Maybe. I actually don't know 100% fully, but it did something. So let's get into it, shall we? As always, this article will be down in the description below, so you guys can check it out if you want by yourselves. You don't need me to hold your hand now, do ya? Pokemon Sun and Moon, new mascots, Solgaleo and Lunala! The reveal? Question mark? Yeah, the question mark is really big here because it's it's not 100% confirmed. It's also not revealed. This might be leaked, per se. Following the heels of the newly revealed mythical Pokemon game Magirna. I still don't know if fucking Magirna. Magir- Magirna, probably Magirna. That's the one. Another Pokemon Sun and Moon speculation are on the rise. Are on the rise? Another Pokemon Sun and Moon speculation are on the rise. Cause I can't do grammar, said article writer. With reports that a trademark has been filed for two names that could well be the mascots for the anticipated games. Solgaleo and Lunala. I, was, I don't know how to pronounce those either. I'm doing my best. We're trademarked in Japan by a certain Yasuke Inui. Don't know how to pronounce it either, I'm sorry. These two are believed to be legendary Pokemon, with Solgaleo, Sol meaning sun in Spanish, representing the sun, and Lunala, a combination of Spanish words for moon and wing for the moon. Beautiful! What's important to note is the fact that the trademarks were not registered by Nintendo or the Pokemon company, but by an unknown person. But that could just be a front for the company to avoid untimely leaks such as this. I should also mention that this article does have almost porn on the sides, where it shows really suggestive pictures in their advertisements, because these people are sellouts. So, the, for the people that have already clicked off this video and went to the article by themselves, they might be having a good old time! Next up, we're actually gonna look at Trademark Bot, which I guess is just something that captures trademarks that are filed and then just tweets them out, which I don't know if that's actually the purpose, but it looks like that's what's happening here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should mention first off that since that article was written, there have also been trademarks filed that could possibly be the starters' names as well, which are already being translated. So, uh... Cool! So if you guys are like me and you don't understand Japanese, don't worry! There's a thing called Google Translate these days, I'm just gonna copy that over there. And, uh, paste it in here. Trademark, image, applicant, the, the dude's name, filing, 2016, March 16th. So this was actually a little bit ago. Classification, 9, program, other, for business, use video game machine. 14, jewel, and imitation besides its gemstone and ge What does this mean? I don't know. Let's go to the next one. So this is Marshadow, who's probably also another starter. The first one, by the way, I don't even think I mentioned it, is Mo Pro. Probably not the final name. All right, this is the second one. Let's throw her in. What do we got? Is something actually changed there? Hold on, what changed? I, didn't, I don't know what changed. Whatever, let's read through it. Uh, the applicant's actually different. The date is different. Probably all of this, these inconsistencies are just to avoid actually being found out as leaks, if I had to guess. Jewel and imitation besides its gemstone and ge What does that mean? What? Uh, okay. Next. This here's the third one, Ashimari, which is also probably not the, the English speaking name final, but it's fine. Let's go to the, let's go to this. What we got. It's a, it's a different person that registered it. It's the same thing every time. It's the same thing. Anyway, I guess it's probably gonna be the same thing throughout, so we can just look now. Here's the original, um, trademark for Solgaleo, our favorite legendary, who i not revealed yet. And, uh, Lunala, which I still can't fucking pronounce for the life of me. So as usual, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. The, uh, Pokemon in the thumbnail were actually, again, drawn by Devil D-Man. It does awesome work. They, they look like they could possibly be actual Pokemon. Um, I really like the designs of them. I actually showed these off in the last video, if you guys didn't see that. You can go back and check it out, it's not that long ago. Anyways, that's it. Let's get a conversation going in the comments below. What do you guys want to talk about? You guys want to talk about Sun and Moon, the trademarks registered? Probably, considering that's the topic of this video, because why the fuck would you talk about anything else? I'll be down there as well. Let's, uh, spark up a conversation about this. Do you think these are the actual names? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. Thank you guys for watching, and come back next time for another video.